<laughs> so Arnold, there are some great uh, gun battles in Bubar for sure. Uh, I, I did wonder, it sounds like some uh, rubber guns are sometimes used uh, for the shoot instead of practical guns. Was that a new experience for you, working with that kind of safety regulation for uh, some of the older action films you did? You know, I think that we used real guns um, and then sometimes we made, uh, we used make-believe guns and then when there were stunts involved where people get hit with the gun or some stuff like that and it's far enough away then you use rubber guns so uh, but I think we used the whole garment of different guns on machine guns and submachine guns and all of those kind of things you know because with close-ups you can pretty much tell the real stuff from uh, the fake stuff. Are, are you happy that Hollywood's sort of taking up for, uh, safety precautions now on set with these kinds of things? Uh, I, again, knowing the, the difference from when you were making different movies back in the day. Well, no, I think it's all nonsense mm -hmm. because the fact of the matter is there were always safety precautions in place. But you can have all the laws and all the regulations in place. If people don't follow them, you have nothing. So then you can go and make, make up more and uh, you know, change things around. But really what you have to do is, is you, as soon as you deal with cars or you deal with weapons, you know you can get killed if you make a mistake. So if you do stunt driving, you know, and you have people around, you have to be very, very careful the way you do that. And you have to rehearse it and everyone has to play by the rules. And that's exactly what we did on True Lies. I mean, we, we, our show on FUBA was uh, from the beginning to the end, every single day when we used weapons, it was the weapons were shown to us, what is inside the weapon, what was inside the barrel, what kind of ammunition was there, what was the magazine look like, how many shots were in the magazine. Oh, and over. I mean, it was absolutely like a jewel, and there was not even, we didn't even come close to an accident or remotely anything close to that. Monica, how did you feel uh, jumping into in this kind of action movie? Obviously, you were in Top Gun, Maverick before, a different kind of action. What was it like here, getting to run around, do running and gunning, so to speak? Um, I mean, it was wildly different. We we were in jets throughout Top Gun and, and, you know, took a lot of training. It's not easy. But this was a challenge of learning something new every week. There was a whole boxing scene that I trained a couple weeks for um, in the midst of the Top Gun premiere. And... Um, then like, you know, another week it would be, you know, I don't know, parkouring off a car and uh, then maybe it's climb, you know, <laughs> crawling on a train. Um, and so it was just, it was, there were constantly new challenges and um, we had an incredible stunt team and everybody was really, really, really intensely safety minded. And I think that's the magic of um, certainly actors doing their own stunts, but any stunts in general and anything, any filming at all, safety is super, super important. It's super crucial and um, and I never felt unsafe. And you know, to any extent that a safety conversation is boring, it's like, we'll suck it up. It's important and pay attention and yeah. take it seriously. It's interesting, there's some really great gun battles throughout the series. I mean, you, you, they, they go really big with it. And I know it sounds like they used a combination of different kinds of guns, rubber guns, sometimes some practical guns. What was it like sort of watching Arnold, who you know grew up at a very different, or came up at a very different time of action movies, get used to some of the different uh, safety measures that are used now? Was he used to it? Well, slip it? We, we started with, with, uh, with rubber weapons. Mm -hmm. um, or and uh, and I think airsoft some stuff, um, but very quickly we realized you know there's an action to it. There, you know, it's, it's there's it's, it's important to so we so we moved to doing quarter loads. You know, very small blanks and the squibs on the ground. You know, zerk hits on the wall. Uh, just the sound of a, of a of a quarter load going off. I mean, all of that is tissue that that needs to be there for the reality of the scene. And uh, so we started kind of in, in in the more modern ways of doing things but eventually reverted back to tried and true, you know, practices, always utilizing the highest level of gun safety. And, um, and so, yeah, so by, by the end, you know, he's walking in with the shotgun. It looks like, he looks like he's just pulled it out of a, out of a, out of a, you know, a package of roses and, and he's blasting it off. And I'm looking at village and I'm looking at him do this and he's not he's unblinking as he's doing it. So yeah, this guy's obviously done this before. <laughs>